Hello everyone, my name is Master Summerhand and welcome back for more Let's Play Mystery Game. The goal of this show is to just play random games. Today we got a bit of a surprising strange one. We're playing Dynamite Heady. <clears throat> this is a game that I've been familiar with for a little bit. It's a game made by Treasure, which is interesting. I do enjoy Gunstar Heroes after all, and this is made by the same developers. It's kind of a unique little like, game made by the same developers there. Um, let me just see here. Um, beta jumps. I want... I want... Okay, yeah, that's the move set I want there. Alright. Let's go ahead and get this started here. Dynamite Heady is a game that I've been familiar with, and I've played, like, the odd couple of times, but I'm not, like, the greatest at. It's kind of just something I've, like, heard of in passing and maybe seen a let's play or two here and there um i've heard that the japanese version of this game is like slightly different i think but i don't remember for what reason um yeah this game is very large it's in charge it's a game that's pretty interesting if you've never seen it before Character there, the titular Hetty. Let's just go ahead and get this one started here. The getaway. So this stage immediately begins, and it's a chase sequence. We can move and kind of jump around and throw our head with the attack button there. It's an interesting kind of idea here for a first stage. It's also very unique to start a game like this and not and kind of have you just automatically doing this um I don't know if it's possible to beat this without saving any of the friends here but or without like any of them getting captured there but running through this sort of opening credits reel here. The plane shooting at us, which is just what we always want to deal with. And we're finally at scene one one here. So, Dynamite Heady is a bit of a strange game. You don't really... Um, it's kind of, like, different from a lot of other traditional platformers of the era. It's definitely very different from Gunstar Heroes, which is kind of the other main game that they were known for. But you can definitely see, like, elements of that in this, I find. Um, Yeah, you were definitely very fast, cat there. Um. Uh, was that it? Oh, okay, that was way easier than I thought it was gonna be. 2.0 out of 1, that's not... Uh, uh, it is what it is, I guess. When thinking of Genesis games that, like, I have been familiar with, this is usually one of the more underrated ones I sometimes think of. Um, not really for any particular reason, it's not that, like, this is a game that I think stands out particularly much, but it is kind of memorable in its own unique way. Hello, Hetty, I'm Headcase. Give me a to change your head. Practice now and see what heads you have. Alright, so we can change the heads here. This is just kind of a nice little way to demonstrate here. I didn't really mean to get rid of that there. Okay, now we're just a Plants vs. Zombies pea shooter as a vacuum. That's pretty sweet. Ooh, we're invisible. Nice. 
I just took invisibility again. I've seen that one. Let's see the hammer guy here. Oh, we're like a... No, uh, that's not that great. Oh, I'm, I'm okay with this shield. Wow. I don't like that we're almost dead here. That's something I'm not really a big fan of here. to leave this level, is it? Or, like, leave this area? I didn't think that we needed to, like, stick... Oh, wait, no, never mind. I've seen it. Oh. Oh, congratulations. Nice. Shit, shit, you just got a secret bonus. Still lose your head, Eddie. Uh, I hope that I didn't need to... No. Well, whatever. Um... Let's head and see some of these other challenges here. Me, Hangman. I'm Hangman. Grab me and move around. Practice now and see how I can help you move. Alright, so I think we have like a minute to do a lot of these like challenges here. Um. Yeah, so basically we just kind of use this to grapple ourselves up here. It's pretty simple platforming based challenges, all things considered. Nothing too dramatic here about it. And we just jumped right into... It's a little bit different if you're used to other kind of platformers, but it's... It's unique enough to make it stand out on its own here, using your head as a... Weapon there, and you can also aim diagonally, which is always nice. Ah, uh, that was not good there. Ooh. remember, like, my first exposure to this was just randomly watching a Let's Play of this game years and years ago. I don't even really remember, um, it was a girl who did it, I just, I don't remember who the heck it was at the time, that's, like, usually I'm pretty good with remembering a lot of Let's Players and names, but I just, I don't remember who it was that did that at the time, so, oh, and I just dropped, like, right at the end there, of course. Of course. <laughs> yeah, just... Yay, we win! Congratulations! Catch you later, Hetty. Alright, uh, let's just try one more area here. Meet Bo. See where my key master weak spots are. Practice now and see how to help you attack. Sure. Oh, I. This is gonna be annoying for 80 seconds. This is gonna be <laughs> something. I feel one minute might have been fine, but. Ah, shoot. Messed up once at least. <sighs> Aiming with a Genesis controller isn't really what I deem the most accurate thing in the world. It could be worse, but this isn't really my preferred D pad of choice for diagonal movement. I'll just say that much, and I got really lucky there. God, 30 seconds still left? And now, great, some of the ones that you're sending out are completely empty there, which is just wonderful. Nice, got it. Oh, so we didn't need to destroy... Oh, so some of the empty ones were probably just out of guys. That's actually pretty nice. Yay, we get the points of all that. I think that's it for the, th the practice areas. If there's another one, 
Uh, it doesn't look like it. Let's head on to the danger zone. Toys in the hood. Good old toys in the attic. Aerosmith. I don't know. Um. Yeah, okay. We're d This is definitely giving me, like, mad wrist star vibes right here. Um. It's like... Give me, like, Wrist Star meets Kirby Superstar vibes. Like, these enemies look like they belong in Kirby, but... Yeah. Dynamite Heady, nail on sale. That seems like it would be a Sonic thing to do, but... Uh, what do I want here? I'll take this. Oh, jeez, I made a mistake. Uh, what does this do here? Oh, uh, this... This doesn't really... Well, I jump higher with this, actually, so... I guess I can't really complain too much. Um, yeah, I mean, I, my movement is really erratic with this, but I jump higher, so I guess... In a sense, and I shoot fur further. I guess a decent trade-off, all things considered, because it would be... A little awkward if you um oh, help. <sighs> Treasure is a game studio that like I wish um like Kind of did more games than they did because they did a lot of really good games. They did this, they did Gunstar Heroes, which I won't be covering Gunstar Heroes on Mr. Game because I've already done a full Let's Play of that game years ago. Uh, that was back in 2012. That's a really good game. Like, it's in this collection, and I would very much recommend it if you, um, Now, let's not go with sleep here. I've played enough Kirby to know how unuseful that is. This just reminds me of Kirby and the Amazing Mirror here, like, with, um, the... It reminds me of the mini ability in that game. Um... But, yeah, um... Oh, Jesus, I didn't realize that was gonna drop me as far as it did there. I can't wall jump in this game, I don't think, so, uh, I might just be kind of... Oh, am I really screwed at getting that? That's... Oh, that's disappointing. Oh, that's... Ah, uh, I didn't think that was gonna be a tube that just dropped me down there. That's... It's kind of weak, not gonna lie. I can't cancel that? Seriously? Um... Alright, we're back with another boss here. Yeah, they did, um, this, Gunstar Heroes, and they did, um, Mischief Makers on the Nintendo 64, and that's another really good game, too. But, um... I don't know if this is really the best thing in the world or not here for this. Oh, I see the weak spot now. That's not useful to me at all. This is not useful to me either. And we died, of course. Alright, Mad Dog, let's give you another shot here. I see that the tail's the spot that I want to be aiming for here, but... Oh, of course you would say that the tar that's what the target is after I do that there. I kind of want the wing power up here, honestly. I feel like that... I feel like as... Okay, as... Like, complete hot garbage as my movement is, and my jump is awkward. I feel like having the extra range is something that's very, very nice. Ooh, very, very nice. I got the stopping time power up at a really good spot, and that's 
not it, I... No. Let's just get rid of this thing here real quick, everybody. Here. That might be a little bit... Ah, uh, dang it, seriously? I think he's still out of range of that. Oh my god, really? Nope! I Well, I got one hit off on him with that. Oh, perfect, perfect. You're deader than dead at this point. You are so deader than dead. <laughs> that was really well timed. It's funny that they would give you a time stop power up in the middle of that boss fight, but pretty fun, I gotta say. I have a fair bit of secrets, too. I would have gotten more if the freaking tube didn't screw me over there. This looks like Hetty's in love. But the key was stolen. If that even was a key, it kinda looked like it, but I come from a land down under. See this I love the idea of this stage here. I mean, it's this is in my opinion what kind of really this this to me really does stand out I, I don't feel like I've seen anything on the Genesis do like anything like this honestly maybe there was something that might have done something but like I feel the only other game I've ever seen do scrolling like this before was Yoshi's Island on Super Nintendo and that's like probably comparing something else there I guess but like it's just such a really like cool design, like, for a stage, I mean, don't get me wrong, probably a bit obnoxious to play a little bit, but it's, it's cool nonetheless, though, it's really, really cool, um, definitely kind of made this game stand out apart, and, like, Gunstar Heroes had a few, like, kind of trippy, like, uses of, like, weird, like, background elements, but I don't think there was ever a point in that game where you were really on, like, platforms like this that shifted their plane a lot, um, not like this game does anyway. Oh, come on, I didn't mean to jump in the acid there. It's not even acid, but you get what I mean. Is that it for that? Ah, uh, yeah, it looks like it is. Oh, I see how this is here. Oh, this is... Oh. This is a interesting idea for a boss fight. I can't say I'm really sure how, how much I feel about it, given that I can't even see my head half the time, but... Shouldn't have hit C there, that was a mistake. Give me one of those power ups, please. I'm holding the directions, I want to make that clear here for. Like, I don't know how much you need to hold them to really kind of make a difference here, but. I kind of can't really, it's weird, because after that stage was really cool, I don't know how much I feel about this boss, because I feel like I can't really do a whole lot to him. I'm just not getting the distance I need, I need freaking, and I don't know how I'm supposed to like, get closer to him, honestly, okay, that'll help me. Pretty much, I guess, just hope you have the, uh...
like, hope you have the head that does that. Well, this could actually maybe help a little bit. If I got closer to him, maybe. I feel about this head. It kind of doesn't really help me in any way. You know, I and yeah, I'm taking damage like every time I. Oh, thank God. Thank God I can get some more hits on him here. Oh, no, I didn't want that. Damn it. I didn't really want this because this is a nice barrier, but it doesn't really protect me. When oh, wow. Did I get him? Did I get him there? I don't know how I did that, because I was like one hit away from death there, but that's somehow... No, I don't want that. Make five shots. Oh, okay, so this is basketball here. shot. That's it, I think. Go in for God's sake. Did that seriously- How did that not kill? That is so bull. That is so much bull. Okay, I think I did just get the fifth shot there. What is this? Why is the freaking basketball like that? That is so much bull crap. Did I get... How many did I get? Really? That was only... I had two shots that should have counted. That was bull. Um, but that's gonna do it for this week's mystery game. Dying My Heady is a pretty fun game. Join me back next time for next week's mystery game. What game it'll be? I don't know. It's a mystery. I'll see you guys for that then. Peace out.